Yeah, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. The tank I am playing is the T-28 prototype. It's an American Tier 8 tank destroyer, and the map is Ensk. I'm working on a campaign called Operation Stug 4. I need to get 3,000 hit points of damage in order to complete my mission. I have upgraded this tank. It's got a very powerful gun on it. It's got the 120mm uh, And it works. The gun definitely works. Come on, Bulldog. Oh, I guess I missed him. Missed them. I think that there's a chance I did 3,000 hit points of damage. I was I expect to be really close. I may have screwed it up. Um, it's possible I should have hit that T29, and then the uh, T28. That's just a dumb thing that I may have done that may have screwed up my chances on this mission. Oh, I didn't make it. 2,700. I had one kill. Wow. That gun is excellent.
Okay, let's give it another shot. I have a feeling that this gun is going to do a lot of damage. Excuse me. As long as I can stay away from um, enemy tanks, I should have no problem getting kills. The question is, where's the best place on the map to do it? I think I'm going to try and park it here in the back along the rail line. Which means I'm going to go right up there where those rail cars are. I'm just going to sit right there. I'll be high enough to hit tanks. Um, might not work. We'll give it a shot. Okay, so this is the T-28 prototype with the 120mm gun. It's an excellent gun. Uh, the map is Pro Korovka, also known as Fiery Salient. Good. Target acquired. Oh, it's too bad I missed them. Yeah, he's obviously Target new. Lost. New at scouting. Target acquired. Target released. That's about 800 damage I did. Target acquired. Missed him. I don't see the target. Too bad. Target acquired. Target released. Ready to fire. Easy target. Target lost. Permission to engage. Where'd they go? I would have missed him. Come on, buddy. Let me kill you. Oh, he's over the far ridge. Okay, I'm going to advance.
too bad. I'm going to try using high explosive rounds against that tank. Okay, so I don't know if I made it, but I know I did a lot of damage. Uh, so I think there's a chance I got the 3,000 hit points. Even with the composite rigid rounds, I wasn't able to always pierce those enemy tanks. Some of our allies did a lousy job. This, you know, they didn't do such a great job um, spotting for us. And it hurts a, it hurts a team when they do a lousy job. They've got some good tanks out there. It, it not only does it hurt the team, but it hurts the player. Uh, this player, the AMX 1390, if he had hurried and spotted all those tanks, I would have shot at him, the low would have, the artillery would have, he would have earned a lot more experience. And you know the artillery is only a Crusader SP, it's not a great artillery unit. Okay. Oh, God. He doesn't even know how to play. They're capping us and he's not even resetting the cap. Uh, so what this guy is doing is absolutely horrific playing style. He's an excellent tank. He could kill tons of tanks. I mean, he deserved to die. The IS-8 would have been an easy kill. I would have gone for the IS-8. I then would have gone to the guy on the cap, and the tank destroyers are very slow, and... I did it! Finally! I did 3,400 damage! I didn't get the secondary condition. However, 
I completed the mission, and I'm going to show you the reward. The reward is Tank Destroyer, so we're going to go down to Tank Destroyer. You go over here, you hit Claim Reward, but before I do it, I'm going to get um, another crew member. So before I do it, I want to see which tank that person's going to go into. For, for example, on my French tanks... You know what, I'm going to make it another video because this is a complicated matter. Oh, you know what, it's not that complicated. Um, over here you can see I have these two female crew members, right? But the commander is not, because I want the commander to have the third skill. If I make the female crew member where this commander is, then she will have one skill complete, which would be six cents. And then I could add something like, re I would lose recon and camouflage, but I would also gain the his Sisterhood of Steel. So I'm not going to do it right now, I'm probably going to move it in later. So I'm going to look at all of my French tanks. You can see here we have a radio operator who has the Sisterhood of Steel. And my AMX 50B, they're doing pretty good, so I don't really get a benefit moving it into the French tanks. So I'm going to look at these tanks. See if there's anyone here. I just got this IS-4. Doesn't really benefit here. Not really over here. Not really over there. Maybe the empty... Okay, maybe it's going to be this tank. Um... I suppose the radio operator on the MT-25 is going to be um, my new uh, member. So we're going to go to USSR. We're going to go to light tanks. We're going to go to the MT-25. And I'm going to pick the radio operator. I got my four commendations. I've got the Stug 4. And I got some sort of a medal. Okay. So that's it. I can now move on to the next campaign. Okay, so I'm going to then go here, radio operator, and put this person back. This person will now have situational awareness, which will extend my view range, and camouflage. For my MT-25, which will soon be the LTTB, which is the next tank. I expect to have a lot of fun playing this LTTB, and maybe even this tank. Okay, so that's the T28 prototype. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.